Hey, this is Silent Joe Talks, and this is July 26th, 2024, and uh, yeah, it's been a minute since I've done one of these. Um, a lot, a lot has happened since the last time I recorded one of these, uh, but like the biggest, the biggest thing has happened is that I finally moved out, I finally moved out of my mom's place well actually technically we all moved but like in the process of moving instead of just moving to a, a new place we all kind of scattered because because it was me my brother and my younger sister living with my mom and then the place we were living at just kind of got too expensive so we all decided to look for new places and in that process, you know, we all talked about it, had our own like little family meeting and decided we all, this was the time to all like find our own place. And uh, uh, my younger sister, um, my sister, she moved in with her boyfriend. Uh, and then me and my brother, we, we found a place and we're currently living together in a new place in, a, in an apartment right now and then my mom she found herself a new place we all kind of just scattered out so I guess it was bound to happen you know can't can't live at the family house all my life gotta move out at some point but uh better late than never I suppose it is kind of late most people kind of move out of their their parents house um you know like straight out of high school or something you know and I guess I waited till I'm like almost turning 30 turn 30 in a couple of days so so yeah a bit of some time but you know it is what it is um so that's kind of the biggest thing going on with me right now. Just trying to, f I guess, figure out the whole, figure out everything, I guess. Um, you know, first time living out on my own. Um, figuring out certain things, like bills and all that. I mean, I've already, I've already paid bills before, you know. But I guess now that it's, you know, my place it's it just feels different I don't know and now that um I'm out of place out of ugh, I don't know I'm having trouble talking but now that I'm out of my mom's place now I'm, like things are more expensive not saying that I didn't pay for stuff when I was living with my mom but but because there was more people living in my mom's house Things were split up, you know, uh, well, like more, I guess, because it was the four of us, there, bills were split up in the four, which made, you know, paying bills and stuff a lot easier, but now that it's me and my brother split in half, everything is split in half, so now things are more expensive, probably can't spend my money on, on most stuff that I want to. Or on the things that I want to. But uh. But yeah. Just kind of dealing with that. I will say though. Moving in our, in our new place. I do have. I did get the master bedroom. And that's pretty cool. Never had a master bedroom before. Basically having my own bathroom. And more room. To do stuff. Like I've. Because in the room I w was at my mom's place, it was basically like a little, it was like a little kid's room. So literally the only things that fit in my room was my desk and my bed. And now, now that I got a master bedroom, I can fit more stuff. I can have my own TV and I have my dad's recliner in there that I used to sit on. Um, yeah basically watch TV there's, there's a lot of things still kind of 
um, like wrong with the place when we moved in, like things were broken and like the ceiling of our place had like water damage and just trying to figure all that stuff out, which is a little annoying. You know, I feel like when you move into a new place, it should be like, everything should be fixed and stuff, but it wasn't. Like I know my, um, my brother's bathroom, his, his like toilet and sink and stuff was all like broken when we moved in. So basically we've had to call like maintenance a few times, you know? So that's kind of a problem we're dealing with. Um, but yeah, just sort of getting used to it. You know, just getting used to having a, you know, your own apartment and stuff. Um, probably sounds weird because, you know, most people probably figure this stuff out, you know, like in their early 20s and stuff. Like fresh out of high school, or like college years kind of thing. But I'm, I'm basically 30 and I'm just now figuring all or trying to figure all this stuff out so I don't know but uh yeah and then um right now I'm sitting at a park that's kind of down the street from the apartment I live it's kind of like in a neighborhood like houses are kind of surrounding it so I'll probably be recording here in, in a new park um I'm still trying to figure out like what places are nearby, what places I can walk to. Um, I will say it was nice uh, walk, being able to have a McDonald's at the corner that I could just walk to and have breakfast and stuff. But uh, at the place I'm at right now, that's not the case. Uh, closest place is a Popeyes, which not really a good place for uh, breakfast and stuff. But, uh, it's, I actually haven't been to a Popeye's in a bit. I don't know if it'd probably be more or less expensive than McDonald's. Probably more, I imagine. You know, with inflation and everything, I imagine everything's probably expensive. Especially McDonald's. You know, hearing, like, things on the news about, uh, just how expensive McDonald's is. I mean... At the one that I went to, it wasn't that bad. It's still a lot, but I've heard, like, stories about people paying, like, 20 bucks for, like, a Big Mac and stuff. And that's probably, like, it probably varies state to state how prices are. But, uh, yeah, but, but they're coming out with, like, they have the $5 meal now to hopefully, like, ease things, I guess. But besides that, yeah. I don't know. Probably gonna check out the Popeyes after recording this. See how it is, if it's any good or not. Um, so yeah, and then I don't. I'm sure I've talked about it before on here, but I have like a like like every weekend I have like this list of like activities to do when I'm bored, and I put it all like on a wheel. And every week I just kind of just spin it and whatever it lands on, I just go and do that, basically. And now that I'm in a new place, I, I've i had to basically redo my wheel. Um, just because everything is based on if, it, if, I, if I can do it taking only one bus or walking there. And so yeah, just trying to figure out figure out what places I can go to around here um uh, I will say though I, I am still able to go to there are still movies I can go to around here I don't have to take multiple buses just to go to a movie theater so that's nice um but uh yeah yes figure out the bus routes that's another thing too I think I got a good handle on it I just it's just kind of hard because my apartment complex, it's in the middle of a neighborhood. And when I take the bus, the way I've, 
the way I can figure out when it's my stop to get off is that I like look for landmarks and stuff like oh once I pass this place that's when I get off but because I'm in a neighborhood it's kind of hard to tell when I gotta get off the bus so I have to like basically pay more attention I can't just you know I can't just sleep on the bus and then wake up and then get off like I used to but uh I'm sure when I do it enough times I'll be able to get the hang of it um but uh yeah that's about it uh, for this week I'm gonna try to do get back on schedule with this podcast try to do more of them uh and yeah that's all I got for this week um talk to you guys next week hopefully and uh yeah and uh yeah I'm out and this is Silent Joe Talks it's July 23rd 2022 and uh got some big news or at least big news to me uh finally finally working got a job not not really the, the kind of job that I was hoping for but you know job's a job and it's better than nothing um I've started working at a uh, Goodwill and yeah I think my official title is uh, equipment operator uh, baler so I'm I'm a baler which I guess means I, I basically take a bunch of like the clothes that people donate and don't want anymore basically put it all in a machine and then a machine like squeezes it into a bale of just recyclable clothes that nobody wants anymore and then yeah that's basically what I do all day just make like cubes of clothes that I guess people take and recycle them and make them into something else yeah so and it's it's kind of uh, crazy to think that I've done I've basically done video and photo jobs this whole time and this is my first like real or I guess not real job but my first like I don't know how to explain it like actual like nine to five kind of job and I don't know it's kind of rough because it's very it's very uh, labor inducing a lot of physical labor and yeah my first week now because I barely even exercise or anything like that my whole body is like very sore and my hands are very hurt very bad it's actually making me kind of worried making me think that I got arthritis but I'm pretty sure it's just from lack of you know doing anything because before you know all I did was just you know set a computer edit videos and stuff and probably the most physical I ever got was probably setting up camera equipment and even that's not really that like physical at all so uh, yeah it's pretty intense and uh, I'll be honest I don't pay's not really that good but uh, you know it's something and you know and since I live with my family and I only pay part of the rent it's actually you know I don't know it's just good to have some money now as before with everything going on not getting as many jobs and um you know with my uh, crypto crash happening it was getting pretty intense but now but now I'll actually have money be able to save up some more again maybe even invest invest back in and uh yeah 
so that's what I'm doing. I did my first week, got my first paycheck, and so we'll see how this goes. You know, hopefully the whole my body being sore thing will just be temporarily, and maybe after a couple weeks, I'll just get used to it and it won't be as bad. And hopefully my hands uh, get better and it's not anything serious. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of like the big thing that's happened lately. Um, and so now, so I'm recording this on a Saturday. Usually I do these on Monday, but because now I have a regular job, I'll probably be recording these, you know, during the weekend or my weekend. And then, yeah, and then just schedule them to release on Tuesdays as usual. Um, and also, now that I have a regular job, I'll probably be streaming on Twitch less. I mean, I'll still do my best to try and stream, but it's probably very likely I won't be streaming as much as I used to, you know. Cause I, cause we're, cause my job at Goodwill, I do the morning shift, so I have to like wake up like at four o'clock in the morning, and all that. So can't really afford to stay up too late to stream, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. I mean, I'll still do videos on YouTube and all that. Um. So yeah. Uh, speaking of streaming on Twitch, uh, I started playing the first Psychonauts, which is kind of weird, kind of playing them out of order, because I played the second one already, so now I'm playing the first one, and it's kind of interesting to see the things that they referenced in the second one now happening in the first game. So yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. I was checking my phone for something. But, uh, yeah, so I'm playing the first Psychonauts. And, uh, I guess anyone watching this, I mean, listening to this, or watching it on YouTube, I guess, um, probably noticing that I probably haven't been streaming as much. You know, like I said, I have a. I have a job now, or a nine to five, so that's what I'm doing. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, don't know what else to talk about, so I'm gonna spin the, my spin my podcast wheel. For those who don't know, I have kind of a wheel of like topics that I have to talk about for when I run out of stuff. So, let's see. Uh, Solar Opposites. Um, So I've been watching uh, Solar Opposites on Hulu. Uh, The new season just came out the third season now I think yeah third season and I really like that show I actually kind of like it better than uh, Rick and Morty like the characters are solar opposites are more funnier in my opinion 
and it's just yeah just in my opinion it's funnier and more interesting I kind of like the 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 B plot of the wall of like the little people like inside the, the the kids wall having their own like society and all that and how that's just like a overarching like storyline that continues in every episode because I think for the most part it's not really a serialized show like you don't have to watch every episode but uh but yeah with uh with the story of the wall it's kind of like the one thing that kind of continues on like a regular show would so yeah I've been watching that uh I still have a couple uh episodes to go though so I'm not fully finished up on it yet but yeah I don't know if that's kind of a, a popular opinion or not but yeah I think it's better than Rick and Morty I mean Rick and Morty is cool and all and I still watch it but uh yeah there's just something about uh the characters and solar opposites that um that to me are more interesting and more funny than on uh, Rick and Morty and like the gags are funnier too and yeah um I mean that's about it uh for this week um so yeah I'll still try to keep things on schedule despite having a new uh, work schedule but yeah I'll probably be recording these a lot earlier than I usually do because I usually record these on Monday and then release them on Tuesday but because I work uh, Mondays I work Sunday some Mondays so I'll probably probably be recording these Fridays and Saturdays and then release them on Tuesday. So, so yeah, um, that's all I got. Talk to you guys uh, next week. I mean, next week is my birthday, so I'll probably talk about that a bit. Not sure what I'm gonna do, but yeah, excited for that. And uh, yeah, uh, see you guys next week. I'm out.